And one of the very interesting parts of studying solids and liquids is the properties of water when it's a liquid and a solid. There's some very unique things about water and let's go look at it from a chemical perspective of why that is so. So the first thing we want to look at is the fact that water is a liquid between 0 degrees centigrade and 100 degrees centigrade. That, by the way, is a temperature that is very comfortable for human beings and animals and plants to live in. And so therefore, what is so special about water that it's liquid at 0 degrees centigrade and 100 degrees centigrade? And to emphasize why it's so special, take a look at the, four, the group 4A, 5A, 6A, and 7A. Of course, oxygen is part of group 6A. But take a look at these elements in those three periods period 2, period 3, and period 4, oxygen bonding with hydrogen causes that uh, molecule to have the highest boiling point of any of the elements here if they were to bond with hydrogen like that. And that is extremely unique. So we want to take a look, and, and take, uh, we want to take a look at the water molecule, the structure of water molecule, and see why that is so. So remember, if you draw the Lewis structure of water, you have uh, oxygen, you have uh, two hydrogens, like so, and then we have two free electron bonding pairs, like so. And so the unique thing about water is that it has two hydrogens, which tend to be positively charged. Uh, well, this end of the molecule is, is, tends to be positively charged, so this is uh, uh, delta positive, this is delta negative, this end of the molecule tends to be negatively charged, but notice that we can make a hydrogen bond which each of the two hydrogens in a water molecule with the two free bonding pairs of oxygen. So remember that this is a tetrahedral molecule in shape. So you can see that we have a bonding pair coming up here. We have a bonding pair. Uh, let's see, we have oxygen here. We have hydrogen. We have hydrogen. Oh, I don't want an arrow there. I want a hydrogen, an H there. And then we have another free bonding pair over here. And notice that the, the structure is tetrahedral in shape. I didn't do too good of a job doing drawing that, but you can see that it's somewhat of a tetrahedral. And you can see that these two hydrogens can bond with the two free electron pairs of another molecule and so forth and so on. It can build those very large structures, so very strong intermolecular forces between the, the water molecules, causing the melting point and the boiling point to be that high. Not only that, the shape of these molecules are such that they can actually make bonds that are straight between the oxygen, the bonding pair, and then the hydrogen like that. So the hydrogen bonds are actually very strong, especially when the temperatures drop and the molecules, the atoms in the molecule begin to vibrate slower, the bonds will actually straighten out and cause you to have a very straight, strong bond, hydrogen bond between the oxygen and the hydrogens in such a way that you can have a very strong structure and therefore it takes a lot of energy in order to melt the ice and turn into water, not until the temperature reaches 273 Kelvin or zero degrees centigrade. So a very unique thing about the water molecule, and what's so unique is it has two hydrogens which can do hydrogen bonding with the two free electron pairs from one molecule to the next and so forth. So very special in that respect. And there's a lot of other properties that water has that makes it extremely unique. Of course, everybody knows that water is the basis of life. Without water, life wouldn't exist and uh, at least not in the concept that we know and you can see how water time and again has all these very special properties and well let's well let's take a look at it one at a time so first we take a look at the high melting and boiling point of water and stay tuned for some other videos with some other remarkable properties of water